What's going on everybody? This is V again. I have another unboxing video for you here. And today's video, we're gonna be showing you this. Ta-da! This is the Growler Works UKEG Go. Now, if you haven't seen these floating around Instagram and Twitter and all those websites, this is a portable keg, insulated, that you can put whatever beer you want or coffee and it has these little guys, they're upside down, they were came loose in the packaging. These little food grade CO2 cartridges. <clears throat> One cartridge from what I read per keg, this is 128 ounces, as you can see there. And just pouring your ice cold beer, take it uh, camping, take it to the beach, wherever you want. And you get uh, supposedly uh, some delicious cold foamy beer so uh, we're gonna unpack it see what's inside this is the chili red color as you can see there upside down chili red we're gonna give it a go uh, I think we have some make a little ultra or whatever's in the fridge fill it up and see if it's see if it's worth the price so stand by and here it is everybody everything is unpacked Pretty straightforward. You have the UKEG itself here, and you got a, what's this, a warranty, support. Kind of take it here, register it for one year warranty, and a 10% off coupon. And then you got more coupons here for some more of the CO2 cartridges there. Now, um, I don't know if I would recommend using the CO2 cartridges that you find at Academy or these uh, sports uh, sort of warehouses or wherever for uh, for those pellet guns. Uh, honestly, I don't know what the difference is between this and food grade, but I'd rather stick with food grade just to be on the safe side and just to keep the warranty that I'm going to register for. So we got a, some coupons here, and this is it. I really like the color here. Again, this is the chili red. See, the Go Anywhere Growler. Stays continuously carbonated for optimal freshness. Keeps beverages cold for hours. Goes wherever you go. And it brings the party with you. All right, folks. So like I said, these cartridges were separate. Okay, so this is all that's together with the UK. I think the minimum on their website is the pack of 10. So. Stand by, we're gonna put some ice cold beer in there. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, we switched scenery here for just a moment. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this cap, okay? So we unscrew that. And attached to it is the instructions and some uh, spare parts or spare part there. So we're gonna take a look at that real quick. Okay, and here is the instructions. Only two pages, the rest is uh, other languages. Now, this extra piece here, this uh, rubber thick washer looking thing, this is the cartridge seal, as you can see here. Now eventually, there should be one in here already, we'll double check that, but uh, from the pressure from the CO2 cartridges, these will wear out, so they give you an extra one. And I'm gonna say it's safe to assume that there's more on their website as needed. Now on the top of the cap, this goes in here like that and it threads on. I'm going to turn this to the side so you can see a little better. <clears throat> so first position, the off position, lock position. So right now this is locked in conjunction, you can see the red dot there. This is closed and closed. So this will be for when you're transporting, okay, once you're ready. You put it in position one for beer and cider and it says here seven psi and this is the close position so you rotate take this clockwise for beer and cider and then bring this up that is still closed and then when you're ready to pour pour this way Or that way and then closed then locked now there's a second position 
So you can see here, here's for beer cider. And then there's two on here and that is for soda and cocktails, 12 PSI. So you have those settings. And then to insert the cartridge, I'm gonna show you that on video here in a moment, but here's the diagram right there. So let's get it installed. Actually, first, before we put anything in there, uh, it says in here to hand wash, rinse it out, making sure there's no debris or dust or anything in there since you are going to be ingesting um, <clears throat> beer or whatever from this new keg. So let's give it a quick hand washing, rinse it out, and then we're going to put our beer in there. Stay tuned. Okay, gave it a quick rinse. So now we're going to install the CO2 cartridge. So bear with me. Let's screw the cap from here. There's on the diagram. All right. Make sure this is in the closed position, as you see here. Put the CO2 cartridge in there. Nipple pointing up. Like so. And then screw it back on again, making sure that this is in the off position. And I'm gonna put the camera down while I finish securing this. Okay, and there it is, it's on. I did hear a small hiss as I was tightening it, so hopefully that is normal. And then our next step is we're gonna fill this up with some beer. All right, everyone, I ran into my first issue here. So as you can see, the foam is all the way up to the top, but I only have six and a half 12 ounce cans here. Now I tried pouring it as gently as I could on its side, but um, as you can tell, I don't know if I should wait till this goes down or just seal it up just like that. So I'll let you know what I end up doing. I'll probably leave this for a few minutes and try to top it off with at least this one. So I'll let you know what happens. Okay, so here we go. I managed to put in, let's see here, two, four, six, eight, nine. And I could have fit in one and a half more of those cans. So I put it in this uh, dish here just to push out all the foam. So I'm gonna secure the cap on and then we'll see what happens. Now, it's important to note that when you put the cap on and open it, unless I misread, that you have to use up all the gas in that cartridge before you unscrew it. So I'll uh, check again, but that seems like that's the case from what I understood. So let's put the cap on and clean it up and give it a whirl. All right, everybody, here we go. Everything's capped off. So uh, I did manage to fit two, four, six, eight, ten in there once the uh, the foam went down a little bit. So um, let's give this a whirl, a whirl here. The first batch I'm going to throw out just to, you know, the, the tubing in here, just whatever dust or whatever might be in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the first position. And you do hear a hissing in there. So this is from close from locked, closed, and then to open. Let's see what it looks like. Very foamy. Okay. Not bad. So I'm gonna throw this first batch out and then do a fresh one, and then we'll see how it tastes. All right, round two. This one I am gonna drink. Let's give it a go. Definitely pretty foamy. Now that was about halfway on the uh, 
the control here about halfway. It wasn't at full blast. So let's give it a taste. All right. Well, right off the bat, I can definitely taste, uh, feel the more carbonation than, than just a regular can here, which I do like. So, <clears throat> what do I think? I think it is worth the money, the portability. Uh, it's a little tricky to get this filled up, especially as we saw with all the foam building up. But uh, I did manage to fit 10 cans in there, not including the spillage over the side. Um, in the future, I'll probably take this to a bar and have them fill it up there just to get the maximum amount of, of beer in here. And uh, in the future also, I need to put these bad boys in the freezer just to get them as cold as I can. But other than that, I think this is a good buy and I, I recommend it. I will post in the future if something goes wrong or if I have issues, but uh, yeah, right now I don't see anything bad. So thanks everybody for watching and uh, cheers. I'll see you in the next one.